Welcome to a special episode of PC Building Simulator. We're here in free build mode today. I've had some questions, people asking me how I do custom water-cooled builds. I've done a lot on this channel. I've got one there, and I've got one there, and I've done a bunch in the campaign or career mode, but I don't think I've ever actually shown how to do it from start to finish or explained what you should be doing to make it work properly. So today I want to show that. If you know how to custom water cool your builds, you may want to skip this video. It's up to you. This is for people who really don't understand how it works or just want to know better how to custom water cool their builds. So I've got this build here. I've already sort of started. I've taken the case apart. I've got a motherboard, a processor, four sticks of RAM, an M.2 drive, and a power supply in there. I've added some fans up here to the top, but I have done nothing with water cooling yet for this build, including not putting in graphics cards. Cause I'm gonna put in two of them. We're gonna put those, we're gonna water cool those as well. So I wanna do it all. I'm gonna show you guys exactly where to go from here. So where I would go next is I would remove these fans. Cause these front fans just have to go. And I'm gonna see if I can get a little small, like 120 mil radiator or something back here in the back. I'm gonna do a 360 in the front. So let's start with that first. Let's go over here. Let's go to custom water cooling parts. Should we do some RGB just for fun? Just for fun, we'll put an RGB up here in the front. So that's a 360 millimeter radiator. And then back here in the back, I'd like to try to get a 120. It does look like it'll fit. Looks like we're gonna win on that one. Okay. So next, Let's grab some thermal paste, because we definitely need that. Be sure to put some thermal paste under your CPU block, or that thing's going to overheat. It doesn't matter what you have running through there. So let's grab a block. Let's, uh, let's just grab this EK block here, and we're going to go ahead and install that on the CPU. Okay. So we'll get back to this block in a minute. Let's grab a couple of... GPUs. Let's do some uh, 2080 Ti's or something here. Let's see. Let's do uh, the Aorus. Let's put in two of those. Let's do fits this PC. I don't know why. Because it was right there at the at the top. So there we go. There we go. So before I cable any of this up, normally I would cable this up first, and then I would run all of the tubing. I want to run the tubing first because sometimes I think the cabling gets in the way and makes it hard to see what's going on. You know what else we need before I get too far ahead? We need a reservoir. Can't do anything without a reservoir. Uh, so let's go ahead and in this case they install right here. Which unfortunately makes it a little hard to read what is on the reservoir like the in and the out but we will talk about that in a moment. So for piping, you have two options. You've got this flexible in all different colors, and then you've got rigid. So flexible is really easy to work with if it works with your build. Sometimes you can't get it to go where you want it to go. And it does it automatically. So let's collect, let's collect, let's connect a flexible tube. So there's what it looks like. I cannot adjust where this goes. It's just going there. And this isn't even hooked up right. I'm just showing you what it does. So if we were just to connect everything up, it just goes where it wants to go. Sometimes, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I don't like the flexible tubing. So I would always recommend that you use rigid because you can get that to go literally anywhere you want it to go. So I'm just gonna use the clear rigid tubing and then it doesn't really matter what fitting some of these fittings you see they've got angles so when you do when you actually make an angle actually let's let's pick one and I'll show you so when you have one of these fittings that does angles if you get an angle in your fitting that are in your pipe that matches one of those angles in the in the fittings it will add that fitting there instead of just doing a, a bend. 
So if you don't use that kind of fitting, one of these, if you use one of these, so let's just pick this white one. If you use one of these, when you do a bend, whoops, when you do a bend, no matter what the angle is, it's gonna be clear tubing. So it, it's more aesthetic than anything. It just depends on the look. So I'm gonna stick with this, what we've got here. So when we start actually piping this up, and this one's not even gonna show it. You can't even see it on there. I'm zoomed all the way in. I'm trying to see it. These EK blocks, oh, maybe you can. You can kind of see the T there. So these EK blocks, this on the left is actually the N. So when your fluid's running through the whole system, it's going to go in here and it's going to come out here. So when you're building, make sure that if you're if you're running your your pump backwards, so like if you're running it through or not backwards, but if you're running it through your graphics cards first and then into your CPU and then out, this is going to be the out. If you're running it this way, you're going to run in if that makes sense. I know it's a little confusing. Just make sure you put it going in the right side. So I always like to run through my CPU first. So it's, I'm going to go from the reservoir into this front 360 millimeter radiator, out of the radiator and into the CPU block, out of the CPU block and into this 120, and then out of this 120 through the graphics cards and back into here. So let's do that. Let's do that now. Again, this is in, this is out, and then on these EK reservoirs, this is out, and this is in. So I'm gonna run from here, we're gonna go out to the radiator. And let's just straighten this up, keep everything nice and clean. We're gonna go ahead and accept that one. Then we're gonna go so we went out of the reservoir into the radiator. We're going to go out of the radiator over here on this other fitting. We're going to go in to the CPU block. Again, I'm just going to move things so that it stays straight. I'm not going to go for like the cleanest ever, but I'd like it to look at least somewhat nice. So let's accept that one. So out of here, into here, then we're gonna go out of here and into this radiator. So if this were real, these graphics cards are gonna run into here. This big radiator is gonna cool the coolant that's gone through both of these graphics cards and gotten hot before it sends it to the CPU. So you're gonna have nice cold coolant going to your CPU. Then it's gonna come out of the CPU over here run into the small radiator and get cooled down a little bit again before it goes back into the GPUs. Let's just straighten that up a little bit. So then we're gonna come out of this radiator, we're gonna go into the graphics cards. And a lot of times these don't say what the in or out is. And I believe when they do that, it doesn't really matter if you want to know the honest truth. If you want to know the honest truth. But I'm going to run in to that side. And then I'm going to run doubles between the two graphics cards. And then I'm going to run out of this one and then in over here to the reservoir. Oh my, this is a mess. Look at this. Look at this crazy mess. <laughs> What's happening here? Let's see if we can straighten this up just a little bit. I'd like it to look at least partially nice. There we go. There we go. So now we're coming out of the graphics cards here and going into the radio or into the radio into the reservoir. So pretty much our loop would start here, run into here, up through here, come out of this and into the CPU block 
out of the CPU block into this reservoir, or not reservoir, radiator, out of this radiator, down into the top graphics card. Then it's gonna run through both of these into the second graphics card, and then out and into the reservoir again. So let's go ahead, let's cable this up, because we can't do anything until we have cables. Because we need power to make it all work. Now, let's go back over here to custom water cooling. We need coolant. Let's use something that we can watch run through. Let's use like this uh, blue opaque, maybe the UV. So we put it into the reservoir. Like I said, we're pumping up and into this radiator, out of the radiator, and into the CPU block. Out of the CPU block and into the small radiator, out of there, into the graphics card, and then down to this graphics card, and back to the reservoir. So it just does a complete loop. Now there's lots and lots of very custom loops in some of the bigger... PC cases. I don't know if I can show it. This one, this one down here. I don't really want to pick it up because I've got no place to put it. This one down here has two separate loops. So if you can see, there's two reservoirs and it actually has five radiators in it. Um, but it has two separate, two separate loops that, that are done. One's for the graphics cards and one's for the CPU. This only has one reservoir, so the whole thing needs to be one continuous loop. If you can fit two reservoirs in your build, then you can do two separate loops. So let's power this thing on. Let's see if it works. It does not work. What the heck? Missing cables. Oh, I gotta put the front on. <laughs> I gotta put the front panel on. Or maybe it was the top panel. I don't remember. One of these panels has, has buttons. All right, not the front. Must be the top. There we go. So let's cable up the front panel connector. Now we can power it on. And then we can kind of see... We can kind of see it running and the direction it's going. And these colors are absolutely insane. So let's... Throw a USB drive in. Let's power cycle this thing. I'm not going to worry about overclocking anything right now because that's not what this tutorial is about. Let's just put our lighting app on. Maybe we can just make all the lights white or something. Select all. What would white do for us? Oh, I don't know that that makes it any easier to see. <laughs> what? What would just turning them off do for us? Okay, there we go. There we go. So you can see the coolant and the way that it it runs runs through the system there. That's pretty much the simple way to run a custom cooling loop. Now, if you weren't going to do the graphics cards and you don't need or your case won't hold an extra radiator at the back or whatever those things you would just omit so you would just run from the reservoir to the radiator to the cpu block and possibly back to the reservoir if you're not cooling your graphics cards and if you are but you don't have room for another radiator you could just bypass that area and go straight from your cpu into your graphics cards pretty simple pretty simple if you have any questions about it, any comments, whatever, be sure to put them down in the comments section. I do my best to answer things there. Or if you just want to blast me for possibly not uh, not cooling the system right, go right ahead. Doesn't really hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to end this here though. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them down in the comments section. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. 
Stay safe out there. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you in the next episode.